I'm Dr. Stephen Cottrell and I work here at the Marine Biological Association in uh, the Fish Behaviour Group, headed by David Sims. And this is phase two of the MASMO project. So phase one took some new vehicles and gathered some uh, phys physical and biological um, data, mostly oceanographic though, and um, the vehicles performed reasonably well, but we brought them here to Plymouth for phase two, and that's about the biology. So here at the MBA, we've got a long history of gathering data about fish and fisheries and coupling that with the environment and looking at animal movements. So back in the beginning of 2014, um, some bylaws were passed for the establishment of various marine protected areas of Plymouth. And that gives us the opportunity to understand how fish are moving around and within those um, new conservation areas. Um, we brought some fish back to the lab over a number of occasions and we've tagged them and we've released them. What we've been doing today is releasing the autonomous vehicles or the marine robots which have been um, uh, which have got the capability to detect the tags that are fitted to the fish and um, send those data back to us here at the lab. And those fish are brill, place and sole and um, blonde ray, spotted ray and thornback ray. In total there's 85 fish out now at Liberty with tags provided through the MASMO project and that builds on tags that we've been attaching to fish really in the acoustic area for maybe five or ten years now. The objective of the project is to uh, locate fish by listening devices attached to uh, unmanned surface vehicles. The launching of the Autonaut, the SV3 wave glider uh, and the Sea Enduro uh, took place. The Sea Enduro followed the MBA Sepia research vessel out with the fish on board. The Autonaut and the SV3 wave glider uh, were towed out using a rib. When we got out to sea, uh, we put down a test uh, uh, buoy with a test tag on it. And the Autonaut and the SV3 and the Sea Enduro would range around this test tag to uh, validate the distance over which we could hear the tags. So each transmitter uh, attached to a fish has a unique ID code and the uh, receivers on board the vessels, the robots and the landers on the seabed that we deployed a few weeks ago are listening for those unique ID codes. So each fish is individually known and the objective for the rest of the project is to use the unmanned surface vehicles uh, to survey, to listen in to those fish and to record uh, the timings of those, those sound, po uh, sound pulses and relay that information uh, via the Iridium satellite network back to the lab here uh, where we'll be able to map where the fish are and over time the idea is to build up uh, maps of their changes in their distribution. So the 85 that are out there at the moment, half of those will be caught probably within two years. There is a, a, a high pressure on fishes and the objective of this is to really test whether marine protected areas uh, are the ones of the size that have been designated can sufficiently protect animals such that they can be used as a tool for the sustainable management of those populations.